Greetings and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to carry on with the brakes on the steam engine. And we're going to start with the piece that drops from the lay shaft, which drops down and then there's a piece that connects to all the brake rodding underneath. And talking of the brake rodding, I'm not 100% happy with it, so we might change that as well. Let's start by making some bushes. Right, so we have those turned. Nothing fancy, 30mm outside, 20mm on the inside. And uh, you may be wondering, why are they all different sizes? Well, the one that goes on the lay shaft in the middle is this one, which we then have a piece that welds on, and we just need to put some, some form of lock in it to the, uh, the rod. So I'm just gonna put it in the mill and put a couple of grub screws in. I may key it further down the line, but for now, we're gonna hold it with grub screws. These two go on the ends and as I don't really know how long these need to be yet, I've just made them oversized so we can turn them down later.
job done. So this goes on here. And obviously these will nip up. Like I said before, I'm tempted to see if we can get the keyway brooch and put a, a keyway on the, in there. I don't think I want to leave the grub screws just to take the brunt of the force of putting the brakes on, thinking that we put a keyway in. Uh, we may return to do that later. But now we need to make the arm that drops down here, which then will link to this bit. There'll be a link between them. Hmm. Coming on nicely. So this time, instead of using my boring head to put the round bit on for that, I've bought this. I don't know what it says. I can't read it. But it's a cheap 30 mil, which is what the outside of that is, 30 mil hole saw. Uh, it's supposed to be carbide. We'll give it a go. They're only cheap. I've got two of them. So if this one breaks, I've got another one to do that with. We'll just run it low at the low speed at the minute. Might need to speed it up. Certainly seems to be cutting. The drill's all right. We'll get a bit of oil on here to see what happens. Seems to be cutting all right. Does it fit? Oh, beautiful! Huh. And it took no time at all. Much better than the last episode where it took uh, quite a bit of time. Right, so I've set that to zero because that's the centre and then we'll move it over the three inch. Fast, I think. So for now, I've just tacked it on. I'm not going to fully weld it until we've got all the components to check that that distance is still the same as the original drawing. Because obviously we've done a lot of modification to this loco. And I've put them so they'll be sitting up here. Uh, and if need be, we'll put a keyway on this, this edge here. And then just put a, a cut in there for it to sit in. Pop this on here for a second. Need to uh, undo the grub screws. So, if we pull that forward. Yeah, I think I think we're going to have to change a few bits here. Hmm. Hmm. Right. We'll wait the next bit and uh, see how it goes.